Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll take a look at how to insert an image in Blackboard. There's a couple of times during the semester that I'll ask you to insert an image either in a discussion board post or an assignment submission. I'm going to show you how to do that. The software that I'm using is the Blackboard online learning system, so let's take a look at it. So here's a Blackboard course that I'm going to insert an image into, uh, but before I do that I need a, an image to work with. So I'm going to open up a new tab and do a quick image Google search. And since this is the internet we will look up pictures of cats. And there's a whole bunch of rascals. Um, so how about we do five cats? It's better than one. So I'll say view this image, and this is the image that I want to work with. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this. One, you can actually link directly to other people's images on the internet. So if you get the URL and just copy it, you can use that. The only problem is if they change the image, then whatever they change the image to is what's going to show up in your post, or if they delete the image entirely, you'll have a broken image link in your post, and it won't look very professional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this image. I'm going to say save image as. And put it on my desktop and I'll rename it Five Kittens. Looks like they misspelled it. There we go. So now I've downloaded this image to my desktop and I have an, a nice image to use with this. Um, so if I go into uh, Blackboard and I go to the discussion boards, um, here I'll need to post an image, especially in the icebreaker. That's actually part of your assignment. Um, so you'll notice with my icebreaker, there's an image I've posted of me in it, so I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, let's go back to the forum, and we'll create a new thread. Now here you would fill out all of your personal information, and when you're ready to insert your image, uh, you just need to put the cursor where you want the image to be inserted. And then here on the bottom row of your formatting bar, there's a little picture of a picture. Um, when you mouse over it says insert slash edit image. So here's where we can insert our image. So I'll click on that. And it gives us a couple options here. I can either just put in the URL. So that URL that I copied, I can paste it in here. And it would link right to the five kittens image that's out on the internet. But again, if it gets deleted, I'll have a broken image link. So I'd rather upload my own image. So here I'm just going to say browse my computer. So if I click on this, I can go straight to my desktop and here's my five kittens image and just hit open and it gives you a little preview but this is a, a really large image so you can see how big it is so it's not much of a preview but um, you can verify that's the image you want you can give it a description and a title if you like you don't have to the nice thing about an image description is uh, if you have somebody um, that's handicapped in the class and they can't see as well, they're using a screen reader or something, it'll actually read the image description to them. So I'll just say five kittens, so you know what the image is of. You can go do some of the more advanced settings, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'll just hit insert. And you'll see it now inserts that picture of five kittens in my message. It's an enormous image, so you'll notice if I select the image, I get a couple anchors where I can resize the image. So if you grab a corner, it resizes the height and the width at the same time and you can get it down to a much more manageable size and then once you have your image in there you can type in the rest of your message and hit submit and you're good to go um, if I was going to insert an image into an assignment submission so if I go to assignments um, I would pick the assignment that I'm gonna submit and then I would scroll down and you'll notice there's no image options here in the comments but if I go under text submission and I click write submission here I get that whole formatting bar but the problem is you'll notice there's actually no image link here the button for inserting an image doesn't exist so the only way to insert an image into an assignment is as a file attachment so I'd have to go down here where it says attach file browse my computer there's my five kittens hit open and it doesn't actually display the image, it just shows the file, um, which I can click on and view once it's submitted to Blackboard. So it's, it'd be nice if it displayed in your uh, message, but unfortunately we can only link to it as a, as a assignment submission. The last way that you can submit or embed uh, images is in your messages. So if I go to messages, I can create a message. Again, I'm not going to fill this out because I'm not going to send it. Uh, but you'll notice in our formatting bar we have that image button again. If I click it, 
you'll notice it actually doesn't let us upload a file from our computer. We'd have to go into what's called the content collection, which is, that's a whole nother YouTube video. I'm not going to get into it here. Um, but you can use the image URL. So in a pinch, I could right click and paste that URL in there, say insert. Um, it may, says, do I want to do this without an image description? No, I better put one in there real quick. So we'll say five kittens. Say insert, and we're good to go. So there's that same image. I have the same anchors in the corners so I can resize the image to better fit my window. And then if you want to send an image in your messages, that's how you do it. So hopefully you've learned how to attach or insert images within your Blackboard postings. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.